All right. Hello, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I've been meaning to make this video for some time now about my car, which is a 2009 Volkswagen Rabbit. This is not a GTI. It's the one with a 2.5 engine. Basically, what I want to talk about is should you buy one? Should you not? And if you decide to do so, you should make an educated purchase, basically. I'm going to go over all the things that I had to repair, uh, the ones that I did myself and the ones that I had to do at a shop. Um, I will go over the prices and everything else. Now, first, how much it cost me to buy the car? This car was had 49,000 miles when I bought it uh, last year, March. Um, March 2016, that's when I bought it. And so far right now, it has 63,000. I put about, give or take, 17,000 miles on it. Um, it I bought it for 5,700. That was the price that I paid for it. Not bad. Now, now we're gonna go over the things that I had to repair, basically. First things first, we'll start with the basic stuff. Regular maintenance, spark plugs, oil change. I don't know, it's about 100 bucks. Oil is pretty expensive for these type of cars, so keep that in mind. You can actually get away with it if you get the regular pencil. I use Pencil Ultra, which is a little bit cheaper. But in order to get the proper viscosity, I mix it a little bit with some Lucas oil, just to get the right viscosity or close to it. Some of you may, may disagree with what I do uh, in that department, but it works for me, so I'm happy with it. Uh, the second thing I had to change was the valve cover. It was leaking from behind, from back here. I had to change it. That one was about $155. I changed it myself, so I did the labor myself. No labor fees in there. Next thing I had to change was pretty bad was the uh, the vacuum pump, which was down there. I removed it with this delete kit right here. This kit um, creates a vacuum for the uh, for the brake system, and I can I could get rid of it. It also helps the performance a little bit since the engine no longer has to push that pump anymore. So it helps a little bit on the performance. Not that great, but a little bit. And this kit was a hundred bucks. I did labor myself. I look at YouTube videos and all that, and I also made my own video about it. Uh, let's see here. Now I changed the air filter. Now this is additional. This air filter was two hundred dollars. I did it myself. It didn't need it, but I wanted it, so I did that. And then, um, then moving on. The next thing I had to change was the wheels. When I first bought it, it had these crappy 18-inch wheels. It, they were wobbly, they were bent, they were awful. So I found these on Craigslist uh, for 200 bucks. These are Audis from an Audi um, A4, 2004 Audi A4. This is where they came from. They were silver, I painted them sort of charcoalish color. Uh, new tires, obviously. That was $450, including the uh, alignment. The, the brakes and the uh, brake rotors, uh, that was $250 for the kit. That included all the rotors around the car, all four of them, and the brakes. I did the labor myself. Uh, next thing I had to change <laughs> was the tie rods and the ball joints, which basically holds the tire in, in place, and you can maneuver it, and you can steer it. It keeps it moving properly. I changed those myself. Um... Those tie rods, that was about $120 uh, for, all the, um, um, for all the parts. I did the labor myself. The next thing is the driver, the uh, passenger side CV joint, which, you know, if you guys are familiar with CV joints, it's down there. I changed that myself. The CV joint was about $84, I believe. I got it on eBay and I changed it myself. Uh, now, we're going to talk about the stuff that I couldn't do myself. <sighs> For those of you watching this, <laughs> prepare yourselves. Now, the uh, AC condenser was bent down here, but that's most likely because the previous owner crashed something. I don't know what it was, so I had to get that changed. I didn't have the tools or the knowledge how to do that, so I had a mechanic do that. And also, I needed a new uh, AC compressor. That alone um, was about 900 bucks. So that's, I'll also give you the grand total at the end. Now, the good about this car is that if you get this car in manual, with this engine and the manual transmission, it is excellent. Also, one huge plus is on the insurance groups. This car ranks one of the lowest ones, primarily because it has a lot of built-in security systems, built-in, um, well, basically security. 
and that lowers your insurance dramatically. I used to own a 2008 Suzuki SX4 little hatchback. I used to pay close to 100 bucks on that one. This, 34 bucks. That's how much I pay a month. I love it. I mean, I can't complain. I mean, it'll lower your insurance as long as you don't have one that has a rebuilt title. Make sure if you purchase one, get one that has a clean title. All right. It helps a lot in the insurance. Uh, the few other upgrades that I've done was the RA coils. Those are about a hundred bucks. They just give better spark a little bit. The performance increases just a smidge. It's not ridiculous, but it helps a little. Um, now, let's talk about some of few cons, primarily in the inside. Because the engine and transmission, if you buy a manual, they're pretty solid. Now, these seats tend to uh, worn out in this area a lot. And um, let's see what else. Oh, back here. This is the most interesting part. I took my boys to uh, the Disneyland once with their friends. And I jammed it all in here. There was like eight kids in here. And they put their elbows in this side of this elbow rest. And apparently it just came right off. So this material they put back here is so cheap. So what I ended up doing is I took crazy glue, <laughs> put it all around so it'll at least keep it steady. Oh, this is coming off right here too, see? It's so bad. <laughs> so that is bad. Same on this other side as well. Now, next thing I want to talk about is ball bearings. I had to change all four of them. And the car only had about 60,000 miles. Uh, altogether, the ball bearings, say about $150, I was able to change those myself. Um, so that, I save a lot on the labor cost right there. So when it comes to the inside, that's the only thing you have to worry about. The seats tend to worn out a little bit on the sides a lot. Uh, let's see. That's about it. I mean, the car is pretty good. So I, I just want to let you guys um, make you aware of some of the problems you may encounter and some of the expenses you're going to encounter. Next up, you see how the hatch is opening just normally? Well, it wasn't like that. By factory, these things were so faulty. I mean, by the time I lifted it up, it just come right down on its own. It was so bad. So those were about 40 bucks. I was able to change it myself. They're pretty easy. There's a YouTube video about it and they're incredibly easy to change. So if you do encounter that and you purchase this card, you may have to change these. They got them on eBay and Amazon pretty cheaply. Next thing I found out is I had a water leak in this area. So you see this black mess right here, that's, um, that's flex, uh, flex seal. I don't know where, whenever it rained, the water seeped right down through down here and it accumulate where the uh, spare tire was. That's the clutch. I had to change, uh, which I'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, this is one of the bolt joints. See, it's all worn out. Horrible. And the clutch was bad, of course. It went, it went bad on me. I just can't believe it. It went bad on me. It also has a lot to do with who the previous owner is. I mean, whoever owned this car prior to me, um, they were not nice to the car whatsoever. And I could tell because whenever, um, first time I, I did a wet vacuum clean on this car and literally mud came out of the seats, literally. I mean, I sprayed the, the water with a solution, put the vacuum through it, and literally mud continued to come out. It was just, it was just horrible. I, I hated it. But I was able to clean it. Now the car smells good, runs proper. And uh, all in all, if I were to summarize all of the expenses, including the car itself, purchasing it I spent about ten thousand dollars ten thousand one hundred dollars uh, I sat down yesterday and made a list of the things that I bought for it and replaced and all that so literally I spent about ten thousand one hundred dollars now that may seem like a lot of money for a used car but if you think about it this car brand new back in 2009 was about 20 grand with all the extra sunroof and all that stuff uh, so basically I basically got close to a brand new car for half that price. Brand new golfers, golfers nowadays, basic models, they're about 18 grand. And that's not including taxes and fees and any extras you may add. So you have to consider 
you have to think about it before I buy a used car like this one do I have the knowledge first to do the most of the work myself because that'll save you a ton of money uh, you're also gonna need several other new tools because th these cars don't use regular sockets like other cars they use triple sockets triple squares a bunch of weird tools you're gonna need especially if you look at the YouTube videos you will realize that you're gonna need you're gonna spend about two hundred dollars worth of um, tools if you go to Harbor Freight if you go to snap on and all those places you're gonna spend like a grand so if you happen to have a Harbor Freight in your area I highly recommend it very cheap tools they're very good quality uh, I can complain <laughs> I love Harbor Freight. <laughs> it's amazing. So, um, to summarize, you have to think about that. You're going to buy a used car like this one. Were well, you willing to spend money to repair it? Are you willing to spend time to learn to do some of the things yourself? And uh, if you answer to all these questions, yes, you're going to have yourself an, an awesome car. Because I have to admit, this car is fun to drive. And I mean, it looks pretty. It freaking looks pretty. I freaking love this thing i remember back in i didn't know much about cars back in the day these cars these models the mark 5 came out back in 2006 i used to see them on the road i was driving a crappy old toyota camry i was married back then miserable pretty much i'm not saying that all marriages are miserable but mine was and then um i didn't know much about cars i wasn't too interested but i remember watching and seeing these on the road i know what they were i know they were volkswagens I know I will see the little rabbit symbol in the back. Sometimes we'll see a GTI. I was kind of confused. Like, what is this? But they look the same. And then I was, I was attracted to it. The shape. The look. It's generally a pretty car. So if you're willing to purchase one of these. And spend time and money on it. You'll be highly rewarded. Oh, I also put a new exhaust system. I didn't put that on the price because... Oh, I also changed it myself. That's, that's, that was not needed. That's just an extra that I wanted. And uh, it's fun. It's a fun little car. No, it's not as fast as GTI. GTI packs like 200 horsepower. This one with all the modifications I've done to it, the highest I got right now is maybe 185, 190. Plus, I don't race anymore. I used to. Motorcycles. So I got the speed demon out of me already. That's out of my system. And uh, so, yes. If you choose to buy this car, expect some expenses. Just like any other used car. But this one, I should I say, is slightly more temperamental than a Toyota or a Honda. They tend to be more reliable. So if you're looking for reliable, complete reliability, stick to a Honda, stick to a Toyota. You still have to do some repairs to them, but they last longer. They don't give you that many issues. These cars, they will give you a few issues. You have to, you have to be on top of them. But if you do, again, you'll be rewarded with an awesome car. Because I love this car. It's giving me a headache, getting it repaired, fixing it. But it's like a, it's like a bitchy, hot girlfriend. I don't know if that's a good reference. but <laughs> It's a bitchy, hot girlfriend. Man, she drives you nuts. But damn, she's hot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yes, for your consideration, if you decide to purchase this, expect a few repairs i do have a few videos on my channel of some of the repairs that i've done like the uh the vacuum pump which is one of the most complex things i've done uh other than that i want to thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel uh my channel is not the greatest not the most professional one but some of, i've gotten support from you guys and comments and i really i really appreciate it so thank you for watching have yourself a good day bye